This is the final video in the creation of this idea journal that was inspired by Sharon over at Texture Junkies. We participated in a collab together that was put on by PM Artist Studio. The collab is called Makers of Mixed Media Art, and we have one coming up in February where about 10 creatives will be interpreting the prompt accordion. So I hope you will stop by and join us for, for that. This is the way that this journal has been put together. I chose to bind it in this way so it will lay flat. I will show you how I did that here shortly, but before we get started, let me introduce myself. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I like to experiment. I like to explore. I'm kind of all over the place, and if you like to have a lot of variety and a lot of different ideas brought to you or the process of those ideas brought to you, please join me. Subscribe to that channel. Here are some other places that you might find me on the web. This is the completion or the cover completed, the back completed, the front cover, the back cover, and all of the tabs. So these are the tabs that we have been creating in the previous videos. And I am lining them up, trying to determine how they will best lie, how they will best fit, how they will look best when we bind everything together. So I'm just doing a quick recap here to see what I have, to show you what I have. And I hope you've joined me on those previous videos. Now to get started with the signatures, I did a very simple signature. I, of course, cut it to fit in the book, and to do that, I measured the height of the book and the width of the book. I multiplied the width of the book times two and took it back about a half inch, so I would have a quarter inch um, leeway when the book closed, and I cut my width of my paper by that and the height the height of the book. So this one turned out to be a cut of about five and a quarter inches by eight inches, or eight and a quarter, I think is what I wound up with. I folded all of those in half and secured that fold with my bone folder. Now I'm determining exactly where I am going to poke my holes to bind all of this together. So I measured one centimeter from each end and two centimeters from each end and then directly in the middle. Middle, So we have five holes. One centimeter, two centimeter on each end, right in the middle, and two centimeter, one centimeter on the other end. So all of those are now, two of those are now marked and I'm going to put them on the top and the bottom of all the signatures that I laid out and I will draw a line from the top to the bottom. Now to make sure that I always know which is the, the top or the bottom of this signature, I'm going to put just a blue colored pencil mark at the top. That way if I drop these or they get miscombobulated, if that's a word, I will know which direction that goes in. Just drawing the line directly through. Just drawing that line from top to bottom, and that is going to finalize the marking for that hole punch. So now let's punch those holes. We'll open up one piece of this paper, grab a piece of cardboard, and stick that underneath the craft pick. And I'm going to punch that one centimeter mark, the two centimeter mark, right in the middle, the two centimeter mark, and the one centimeter mark. And I shall do that on each piece of the signature. Once everything is punched, I will combine three pieces of paper to create one signature. So each signature will be composed of three sheets of paper. Now I'm taking one of those signatures to the front cover, measuring in one centimeter 
and marking those holes and punching those holes one, cen one centimeter in on the front cover. Pulling out waxed thread and I'm just going to pull about four widths of my book in thread because I think that will be enough to work with to get started. I'm going to tie a secure knot in the end of that and thread the needle. And now we are ready to start binding this book. I will start by going through the first hole on the first signature. So I'm going through that hole and I will tighten up that knot or pull that thread through to the knot in that hole. And now we will attach the cover by going through the inside of that cover, looping the thread around and coming back through that first hole. Now I will go through the second hole and this time instead of going to the inside of the front cover I'm going to loop this thread around to the outside and come through the hole in that manner and back through the first hole or the second hole or the same hole that we went out of and back through that same hole. And I have a knot in the way, so let me get that out of the way so I can get back through there. Now this is the way I stitched it. It doesn't mean it's the right way. I'm just sharing with you what I did. So I'm sure there's a right way and a wrong way to do this stitch. I'm probably not doing it correctly, but it worked for me, and I'm sharing with you how I did it. So now I'm back through that second hole, and I will go back to the outside of the book through the middle. I'm going to go around to the outside of the front cover and loop that thread around. And then I will come back in that same hole in the center of the book. And then now to the two centimeter, the hole two centimeters from this end, we'll go through that hole, loop around the outside edge of the book, come back through the same hole. Okay, back in. Tightening up my threads a little bit. There we go. Now we'll go back out that final hole. loop around the cover, come back in the same hole, and here's where it gets just a little bit different. So we'll come back in through that same hole, and now I'm going to loop back in that stitch that was created in between the first and the second hole, and just loop my thread through there. So I'm kind of securing it or making it, um, making a stitch so I am not going back out and undoing my stitch, if you will, and going back because I need to be to the outside of the signature to stitch on the next signature.
So I hope that makes sense. So I just kind of looped it around that stitch in between the two centimeter and the one centimeter mark and went back out that same one centimeter hole. Now we're just laying the second signature on top of the first and we're going through that first hole coming back through the second and then we will go down to the stitch between the cover and the first signature loop in between that and come back through the same hole so let's look at that a little closer so let's go through the middle Now we're going to come down and loop in between that stitch between the cover and the first signature to secure that. And then we shall come back, I'm just tightening the threads, but we shall come back through that same hole. Okay, now we're back to the inside. Go to the next hole, come through, loop, back through the same hole, and we shall do that again with the final hole position. Through from the inside, loop into that stitch between the cover and the first signature and back through that hole and now you have at the front this nice representation of the wax thread and now we need to begin to secure those tabs in so we are on the outside of that final tab look how nice these lay they lay real nice and flat So let's make sure that we have this going in the right direction and we need to punch those holes so I'm just pulling out a signature kind of measuring that one centimeter in lining that up making sure that everything is consistent we'll get everything in line, lined up so that it represents itself well, I guess is the best way to say that. And then we will punch the holes in that first tab. And I'm really being cautious. I put a lot of work into this book. I put a lot of work into the tabs and I don't want to make a error that is going to cause me to have to discard one of my tabs. So now that I am confident that I am in place, I am going to punch my holes. Just making sure that was a little light, so I'm going to pull in that second signature, the Distinction was a little darker on that, so we'll use that to make sure we're punching the holes in the right place. So now we have that task complete. We can find this signature. So I'm going to line it up. I have my thread on the outside of that last signature. I'm going to go again into the inside of the front of the tab, come back around, and go in to the back of that top signature or the last signature. So now we're back through the inside of that signature on that first hole. So we'll go through the second hole and now we'll just loop around the tab
and come back through the second hole in the signature. So we're doing the same thing that we did in binding the signatures together, but that first that first hole is always slightly different. And now we'll go through the center. And I will loop around into the front of this tab or the top of the tab and then back through that corresponding hole in that signature. We're almost to the end of this one. We're coming through that two centimeter hole. We will go back out that final hole. loop around that tab. I went back out and got that tangled up. I went through a piece of that thread so I need to clean that up a bit so I went back through the same hole. Now I'm going to come back out around my tab. I'll come back in back through the signature now I'm going to make that loop come back through the same hole and we are ready to start with adding on that next two signatures. So we'll pull the next signature out and just begin to repeat. So we're going through that first hole, coming back through the second and looping around. So we're going to loop in between the tab and the last signature and come back up through that same hole. There we go. Through the center. And we'll do this one and then we'll rinse and repeat, I guess, for the rest of them. Back through that same hole. Again, this is just doing the same thing over again. But I wanted to show it one more time. That final hole. Loop it. Come back through. into the next signature. So it's just back and forth. And once again, as I said before, this is this is how I 
found this together. This does not necessarily mean this is a correct Coptic stitch, but it is what worked for me and what is working really well on keeping this book together. And I've been using the book. I finished it uh, three or four days ago, and I have been writing in it daily, capturing ideas, thoughts for future videos, things that I want to share, things that I want to do, things that I want to try. So it is being well used and it is very easy to write on because finding in this method or utilizing this stitching technique makes these pages lay really, really flat. So they're really easy to write in. So now I came to the end of my thread. I wanted to show you how I added additional thread and I just tied a square knot and that and pulled out some more thread and finished this off. So you can see we're getting close to the end of all of that being bound together. And it is working real well. So I thought I would just go through this last piece and attaching the cover. I get myself into a little bit of a mess here, and I thought I would share how I fixed it. So this is the last signature going on. Coming back through that same hole. I slowed this down because this is going to be putting the cover on the final piece. Back through the center, looping that around. And we're looping one spot down, so we're going back to that previous stitch, coming back through the cover. or through the signature, I mean. Okay, the final signature stitch. We are getting close to the end and putting on the back cover. Now, when I created this back cover, I created it for the pocket to go on the inside. But as I look at it, it looks like I punch my holes on the other side. But I actually think that was a grand mistake because I like the pocket on the outside back cover. The book lays nicer, and it just represents itself just a little bit better, I think. So we're going to go with that and act as though it were intentional. So to get this cover on, we're coming around the outside and going through that hole. We'll go back through that signature. Tighten that up just a bit. I'm going to open that signature up. And come back through that hole number two. And I ripped it. <laughs> and, and you probably don't want to hear what I said. So I 
tightened a little too aggressively and I tore the place between the first and the second signature. So now I need to correct that. And I'm going to correct that with some washi tape. So I'm just going to get where I can see where I have torn it and I'm going to put a piece of washi tape in there. Now there's two ways I could have corrected this. I could have just made another signature. It would have been very easy. It was a final signature. But I thought, you know, why? <laughs> we might as well just learn to decorate or use those mistakes as opportunities for embellishment. And I added some washi tape. And I kind of like the way that looks, and it also is kind of a reminder to not get excited and pull too tight because you're at the final, final end of the creation of the book. So let me just thread my needle up again. And we're going to come through there once again and make sure that this works. And I put the washi tape on both sides. So the signature has the correction for the spot that I tore on both sides. And that will keep that thread from transversing from one hole to the next, which is what we don't want to happen. So now we'll go back and put the cover on. Now that fix seems to be working. So I'm going to go through the second hole. And come back around from the outside. And then back through that second hole once again. Sorry, I got a little off screen here. And back through the middle. The outside cover. Come through there and then through that signature hole. the inside and now we'll speed this up and just get this thing finished now I'm just going to really knot this up at the end I'm going to go around several times and tie it in a little knot I'm going to leave a strand of that thread and use that to tie on a couple of little embellishments. And I have these little gears that I'm going to use to add on as a little dangle on the outside of this book. I will use two of them. They're little metal gears. And there, the book is finished. So let's take a look at what we have. So this is the outside. You can see all of the things that pop out. I really like the way that wire looks on that one 
tab. All of our sari silk and burlap sticking out. We even have a little charm here. The pocket on the back, which I really am preferring that. I think that looks good on the back. The key on the front. And as you open it up, it opens up flat. You have your clay divider. We move to the gel press. ephemera, and the other was the wax. We have our techniques. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the random DIY, and then the technique. So the book is finished. Thank you for joining me in the creation of this. I hope you enjoyed. It was certainly a fun project to work on, and I think the binding worked out really well because the pieces lay flat. As I told you before, I am using this book already, and it is turning out to be quite quite simple and quite easy to use because I can open it flat, write what I want to write on the inside, I'm organizing my thoughts according to the technique. I know what I want to do when I get to my encaustic wax station. I know what I want to do when I pull out my clay. I know what I want to do when I pull out my gel press. So I think this was a great idea. Thank you to Sharon over at Texture Junkies and PM Artist Studio for putting us together in the Makers of Mixed Media collab. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you will subscribe. Also, if you want to go back and pick up on the creation of this book, if you're coming in late, the playlist is up above. Your likes help promote my channel. Your comments are greatly appreciated. Bye for now.